in this tutorial we'll take a look at um, not only the intersection modifier for boolean operations because I kind of left it out at the other lesson but there is something more important about that as well that I wanted to show you but we're also going to take a look at the build modifier because it's powerful because what that allows you to do it allows you to kind of build things over time in case you want to animate the construction of something all right so let's uh, let's get rid of the this little object right here let's go add another cylinder to the scene cut it down in size let's see All right, and then we'll move it kind of in position over here with this piece here. Now, what's cool about it is the, with the intersection is that, let's see, first of all, we need the name of this is cube.002. All right, so uh, what you can do with these modifiers is before you actually apply them, you can adjust them in real time so you can see the results of your work. We'll actually do it, maybe we'll move it down like this. Maybe that probably gives you a better idea, right? there well I don't know if that would or not we'll try maybe that'll help you out like that so we'll go get the boolean modifier again we'll use the intersection this time this was cube.002 we'll click that and now notice it's already in there but by changing its position before I actually apply it I'm gonna get a different effect All right? you you notice what's that must be because right there the cylinder is just barely touching the edge. Now it's on the whole edge. Let's let's close that real quick. Let's move it up. Let's move it like this. It'd be easier to see. Okay, now you can see if you look close, you can see the edges of the cylinder like this. Okay, so then if I grab this, then now it's going to just use that portion of the cylinder or that portion of the cylinder so let's just use that portion like that and so now you can cut out your shape accordingly so we'll apply it and we'll move this out of the way so there's our shape that we built based on that so it's a powerful model building technique Bill Under has so much power it's unbelievable those guys just do an incredible job kudos to all of them so now the other thing we're going to do we're going to use the um, in this case the build modifier now when you you do it, it's like your object goes away. It's like, well, it doesn't really go away. See, what it does, it starts, it has a length of 0 to 100. So what it's saying is that over 100 frames build the object. Okay, so if you come down here, and if I just press my right key, my right arrow key, there it is building it right at, when it gets to 100, should be, there it is, completely built. All right, so you can assemble things just like that very cool or randomize of course just what it says you know build in random fashion let's see what let's see how good it is I'll just press alt a yeah it gives some great animation effects but that's pretty cool of course in this case you know a cylinder is kind of tricky because of the way it builds it so sometimes you want to build your mesh uh, fact let me just show you what I mean let's let's just get rid of this see that's kind of a random build of the mesh like that so what if we tried it with yeah let's add another cylinder to the scene real quick same as before gotta give it a color Add a color <laughs> it just doesn't work all right we're gonna see but now before we do it we're going to do what I was mentioning before. I'm going to go into edit mode and go get my loop cut and slide. I'm going to give it a bunch of subdivisions like that. Okay. All right. Now let's that's that's cube.002. Now let's go get our boolean modifier again. We we'll use the intersection like this, like that. Yeah, uh, probably what I needed to do was even change it on the top. Yeah, because even on the sides, that's not enough. So the top, so you don't want to rebuild the top differently. Maybe start with a uh, cube and warp it to the shape of a circle or something. You just find another way to build it so you don't have these kind of lines on the inside like that. But anyway, so then we have a different shape with edges on both sides. Let's see what happens if we build this one anyway. How many more? How long? It must build. It's gonna should build faster 
because there's more uh, faces in the object. All right, let's press Alt A and see what happens. Right, so it does. Still, the top edge looks a little goofy, but okay. Well, I'm sure you get the idea. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.